Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Of course, welcome back to another pre-recorded video this week. Today, it is Tuesday by the time you guys are seeing this. We are predicting every single conference's team overall in NCAA 25, the video game. So, what we're going to do today on tap for us is the Big 12. So, we're going to go down just like yesterday, predict every single team within the Big 12. Tomorrow is going to be the ACC, and then Thursday is going to be SEC, and then Friday you will have your Franchise Friday. So, of course, if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell on. As we get closer to NCAA 14, I believe at the time of recording this video, there's 11 days, or 13 days when I'm recording this, and then 11 days by the time this video releases. So, we are getting very, very close to NCAA 14. Of course, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell on. As we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Like I said, tomorrow's ACC power rankings for NCAA 25. And then Friday or Thursday is going to be SEC rankings for NCAA 25. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to grading the, ACE, the Big 12 in NCAA 25. All right, here we go. Starting off from literally top to bottom. And then if the team overall has already been revealed, like I think the only one in this conference is really just Colorado, then we'll skip them. And obviously it's already been revealed, so we don't need to do anything else with them. But starting with Arizona, the newly added Arizona Wildcats, I think they're going to be a solid 81 overall. Arizona State, on the other hand, they're going to be a solid 77 overall. Again, I think that their football team is not that good, which is why I have them at that one. Moving on to Baylor, the Baylor Bears. I'm wearing the Baylor hat right here. You guys can't see it because it's backwards, but I am wearing a Baylor hat and, of course, the TCU shirt as well. But Baylor is going to be, again, don't know too much about their football team, so I'm going to say uh, 80 to 81 overall range within that one. BYU, another newly added team in the Big 12 this year. Again, they're newly added, so I'm going to go with a 78 overall. I know that they're, they like to run the option play at BYU, and that's going to be a huge factor in this game, but I'm not sure what their team overall is going to be. Moving on to a newly added Gus Malzahn and UCF Knights. I, again, don't know too much about their squad, but I'm going to say an 83 or an 84 overall suits them well. Cincinnati, on the other hand, they're going to be about an 80 overall. Colorado, they've already been revealed. They're in the top 10. I believe they're like a 90 overall or something like that. So we will leave it at that one for Colorado. Houston, on the other hand, they are going to be a solid 77 overall, in my opinion. I don't think their football team compares to their basketball team, so that is why I'm going with that one as well. Iowa State, I again, don't know too much about these schools. 80 overall is what Iowa State's going to be. Kansas, they're going to be a solid 79 overall. They will almost hit that 80 mark to start out in this game, but again, we'll see as the season progresses as well. Kansas State, on the other hand, don't know too much about them. So they're going to be in the 75 range, honestly, in my opinion. Oklahoma State, they'll be a pretty solid team. They'll be an 81-82 overall. TCU, the TCU Horn Frogs, the not almost national champions in 2022, but they're going to be a solid 80-81 overall. That's not bad for them. Texas Tech, they're going to be about a 84-85 overall range. Utah has already been revealed as well. They're in the top 10 as well. And then West Virginia, they're going to be in the 77 range as well. Okay, so that is my power rankings for the Big 12. What I like in this conference, again, I like Texas Tech. I like TCU. I like Oklahoma State. A lot of these schools can be really well, and what's going to be a really deep Big 12 conference this year, especially at EA Sports College Football 25. Now, I think the favorites in this conference is clear from the game creators over at EA, and it is Colorado and Utah, but there are some sleeper teams that are going to be a fun team to use in this game and rebuild in this game. I look at BYU. I look at Arizona. I look at B Baylor as well. There are going to be some fun teams to play as in NCAA 25. Now, 
Again, overall wise, they're not going to be the best team in the game. Their their offenses are not equipped to do that. But running the triple option with BYU, running Baylor's obviously really good defense is going to be a problem as well for game players in the game. Arizona, their offense, the West Coast offense is going to be really fun to incorporate in the Big 12. So there's a lot in this conference that has it going for them in this game, other than the fact that Oklahoma and Texas have left the Big 12. Other than that, this conference is sitting pretty good. Another team that I like in this game is Cincinnati. I like, again, TCU. Uh, Houston, they'll be an underrate, a really underrated team to play as, in my opinion, within the game. So those are the teams in there that I like. I'm probably going to try out a few. UCF, again, I'll try them out because of the Gus on situation over at UCF. But other than that, I probably won't touch UCF. Again, Colorado and Utah are going to be the favorites to play as in NCAA 25. But there are going to be a lot of other teams in the mix to play as as well. Again, I look at BYU kind of reiterating this, but their triple option offense, that's going to be new in the game. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very curious as to what that offense has to offer in EA Sports College Football 25. So those are the teams that I'm looking forward to play. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Anyway, of course, that is where I'm going to cut it for today's video. Once again, if you have not already, hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell on, as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Like I said, tomorrow, Wednesday, is going to be ACC predictions. And then Thursday is going to be SEC predictions as we are about a week away from the game by that time. But again, that's where I'm going to hop off. It's edited so you guys can watch it on time. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hit that sub button. Again, we're trying to get to 300 subscribers by the release of EA Sports College Football 25. We're going up. But we need your help as well. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Share whatever you have to do. Hit that sub button. Leave a comment down below. Obviously, it helps the algorithm a lot. helps us a lot as well. So that's where I'm going to cut it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.